welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the LT-432. It's a Tier 8 Soviet premium light tank. It's located on the north spawn of Redshire and it's under the command of Fluffy Little Kitten the Reborn. Okay, game started. Well, surprisingly, this vehicle only carries three crew, but then when you consider how flat the turret is, I don't think you could squeeze more crew in unless you use a shoehorn. Yep, it's got an 85mm gun, which is capable of 180 alpha and decent penetration. And it actually does have decent armor as well. And uh, that's because they've actually locked a bit off the top speed, which originally uh, I think was a bit uh, faster. But it, this one only, only can do 70 kilometers now, only 70. My gun, that's a lot. Well, they spotted some of the enemy, and the enemy are coming up to spot him. Oh, he's managed to get behind that rock. Okay, no shots in the uh, T-71, and he's moving off to a new firing position. Well, with 70 kilometers an hour, you can understand why this vehicle is so in demand for Frontline, which is currently on again. And uh, it's it's fast, and that means that you can zap about the, the Frontline battlefield, especially after you just respawned, and uh, get up to all sorts of uh, wrecking behavior on the enemies by getting behind their lines, getting behind their uh, uh, defenses to take out um, any of their important players. Okay, and what I'm thinking of here is, uh, yes, you can use it to get behind and kill the arty. In fact, actually, I would say it's useful for actually um, fighting against um, or getting shots in on the, the gun emplacements. But the problem is that this 85mm gun really doesn't do enough damage to be worthwhile in that role because you really need something that's got a lot of punch, punch to it. And I've actually tried using an LT-432. Oh, he's going to get this LHM TV. If only he can get the gun to bear on it. He's got no gun depression, unfortunately. Typical of all Soviet light tanks. Well, he did get a hit. And another. And he goes for the ram. In fact, actually, he just knocks the tank on. But he did get a hit. And the T-92 behind him was taken out by his teammate there in the Tiger. So he's going to go into the castle grounds now. Uh, provided he doesn't go over any rocks in the meanwhile. And one of the things I like doing on this map is using that gully around the, the moat around the castle. Because it is actually a very effective way of getting behind enemy lines without the enemy knowing that you're there. He's doing a very good job at the moment. That VK-302D is a one-shot. And he's just spotted two more of the enemy. Or rather, respotted them. And they're coming out after him. Or at least the T-49 was. In fact, I think he is coming this way. He's determined to get fluffy. And <laughs> he suddenly retreated when he realized that he was being led into an ambush. And now he's retreating. But now he's realized too late. Fluffy's got behind him and punched around into him. And another. So this is really going to annoy that T-49 driver. And Fluffy puts another one into him. Oh, took around there from the T-49. But he punches another hole into the guy. And each time he's punching holes in, he's getting something like 200 hit points. Whereas the T-49 only got 373 out of him. And he managed to get at least, what was it, four shots? Five shots. No, four shots. On the T-49. So I think that's a fair trade there. Okay. He's still got half his hit points. So he's going to push again as an aggressive scout. 
There's an enemy tortoise over there. It's being assaulted by the IS. But there's nobody guarding the, the east side of the map at the moment. And there's nobody between our guys, our arty, and the uh, enemy heavies. So I think that Fluffy suddenly realised, yes, he's got a job to do. He's got to highlight these guys, let the arty go to work on them. And also let the guys up on the hill get some shots. And of course the enemy knows this. They're looking this way, not at the guys on the hill. And there goes the T26E5 pa Patriot. Now, can he get behind that mutant? Hello, mutant. One more shot. Auto aim on. Oh, we didn't get it and he took her around from the mutant. <laughs> on the retreat. Takes him out. Now, that means the east side is open to him. And the enemy can't really stop him from getting through. So it's now time for him to pay a visit to the arty, I think. That IS-2 is, well, pretty truly, um, yes, everyone can see he's there. And he's getting hit from one side. <laughs> That's excellent spotting, that is. Truly excellent. He just sat there alerting everyone to where he was. And we now know where the Crusader is. He's in that little alcove. Now that T-49's headed this way. And so's the T-30. But the T-30's being assaulted. So maybe we can go and lend a hand to the Leo. Oh, he fired on the move there when he went through the dip. And we lost the Leo. Yes, he gets one in. Auto aim on and... Oh, he gets the kill. Now he needs to get away from that T-49. That guy's got a grudge. But there's only three enemies left. And the T-49's one of them. But we do need to put um, some protection between us. Uh, between the T-49 and uh, the enemy RT. Or the our own RT, rather. Enemy RT's just been killed. Our own arty is actually in danger. I think Fluffy's just realised that. We don't know where the T-49 went. It very much looks as if Fluffy has actually completed part of his missions um, for, I think it's a light tank 13 mission. And he's indicating the T-49. Oh, there he is. He's found the Striv S1. Ah, wow. Fluffy takes him off on the move at full speed and wins the game with that shot. And the Striv says, thanks. That was nice. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Where was the first class tanker for Fluffy Little Kitten in the LT-432? In fact, it's the first time he's got a first class tanker in this tank. He managed to get a fire for effect, a fighter, a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage, a duelist, a hand of God and a bruise medal. He also picked up an Orlix medal. He took out two tanks which were higher tiers than his own and I think that that would have been the T-30 and the T-49. I think they're both tier 9 tanks and he took them out with a tier 8 premium. 6,018 was the win 8 for that one. So it's super unicum stuff. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, didn't get the highest damage in the game. That went to the Striv S1 who didn't get the high caliber for some reason. He only got 3,119 hit points but didn't pick up the high caliber. So maybe that wasn't 20% of the enemy hit points in total. Uh, he did manage to get, or Yank Tiger did manage to get 2940, and then the T30 got 2800, and then we got Fluffy with 2435, picking up that Orlix medal. The L3432, the other L3432 on his team, got a Confederate, and T49 on our team also picked up the Pescucci's medal. The Mutant on the enemy team also got a cool headed. He must have been under considerable fire to get that. Uh, if we look at the number of kills, though, it was Fluffy that did the best. He got 
four kills, the T49 got three, and then there's a bunch of tanks with two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, he's got the top on that one, 1173, because of course he was killing higher tier opponents. And 908 goes to the Steel Waffen Traeger, and 840 goes to the other LT432. He fired 18 rounds in that game, got 13 direct hits and 12 penetrations, 2435 hit points of damage, all at close range. Two hits received, one was a penetration, that was unfortunately the T49, and two hits as a result of splash damage, or is that the one that counts? I don't know, maybe. Uh, I'll have to look back through the video to actually see who actually got the hits in that did the penetration. Um, three enemy vehicles spotted, five enemy vehicles damaged, two, four killed, uh, 1,365 hit points of spotting assist. And on a premium count, he earned 93,998 credits. After repair and ammunition resupply, he took home 80,785 credits. So the L3432 is not just a fast, fun tank to play. It also earns a lot of credits. He picked up three bonds for getting the Orlix. And 1,759 XP times two for the first victory. 176, because this is a premium vehicle, took home 3,695. So yeah, that was a good game, that was. And uh, congratulations on getting your first mark. You need to send in your replay once you've got that ace tanker. And at this rate, it won't be long. If you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.